Hello everyone! In this video we are going to teach you about the culture of Naples using 50 facts that you probably didn't know about Napoli. This video in particular is based more on Naples rather than the other cities and towns in the Campania region. However, we have also created 30 facts about Campania, so be sure to check that one out too, to learn some of the customs of the rest of Campania that may vary to the culture and customs of Naples. So before we start, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more Neapolitan content on language and culture. We hope that you enjoy the video. Ready? Let's begin! Naples was first settled by the Greeks. The name of the city comes from the ancient Greek Neapolis, which means New City. Naples is the third largest city in Italy. It's the third biggest city after Rome and Milan. There are catacombs that date back from the 2nd century. The two catacombs of Naples are the Catacombe di San Gennaro and San Gaudioso. Pizza was created in Naples and the famous Margarita Pizza was named in Naples after Queen Margarita. In 1830 the first ever pizzeria in the world was founded in Naples, named the Antica Pizzeria Port Alba, which still remains open to this day. There are seven castles in Naples. Naples was named the city of the seven castles in the past. The seven castles are the Castel dell'Ovo, the Castel Nuovo, the Castel Sentelmo, the Castel Capuano, the Castello del Carmine, the Castello di Nisida, and the Forte di Villena. Naples is the most densely populated city in Italy. It's more than three times as popular as Rome. Nearly around one million people live in the city centre of Napoli. The central funicular in Naples is one of the most used funiculars in the world. It carries 10 million passengers each year. The city centre is the largest in Europe. The historical centre of Naples was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1995. Naples wasn't always part of Italy. Naples was historically part of the Kingdom of Sicily, an independent kingdom, in 1137. Naples is under constant threat from a supervolcano, Mount Vesuvius, which is one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Also, the Campi Flegre is an underwater volcano that is located under the Gulf of Pozzuoli. Pompeii and Herculaneum are two cities that were destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius that are in the metropolitan city of Naples. The port of Naples is the 12th biggest passenger port in Europe. The main activity is passenger transportation. More than 6.5 million passengers go through the harbour each year. Naples was severely bombed by Allied bombing in World War II. It was the second most bombed city in Italy after Milan and suffered 200 air raids. The city of Naples has its own tailoring procedures. Neapolitan tailoring was born as an attempt to loosen up the stiffness of British tailoring, which didn't suit the Neapolitan lifestyle. Naples is the Italian city with the most Michelin star restaurants. Naples isn't called the city of food for nothing. There used to be rivers in Naples. They have since been covered by construction and you won't find any rivers in Naples today. One of the ancient rivers is the Serbato from ancient Greek, Sefiatos, meaning fast flowing. The city is divided in 30 quarters that are grouped into 10 municipalities known as municipalita. There is a pizza festival called Pizza Fest. It contains pizza contests, entertainment, cooking classes, conferences, concerts and live events. The Camorra is a Neapolitan Mafia. It's one of the oldest criminal organisations in Italy, founded in the 17th century. Naples was the first Italian city to rise up against a Nazi military occupation in Italy. The Neapolitans rose up and pushed the Germans out, in which became known as the Four Days of Naples. The best known sports team is the football team SSC Napoli, two-time Italian champions who play football at the Stadio Diego Maradona. The most prominent forms of architecture visible in present-day Naples are the medieval, renaissance and baroque styles. Its history has left it with wealth of historical buildings and monuments. The National Archaeological Museum of Naples is one of the city's main museums. It has one of the most extensive collections of artefacts of the Roman Empire in the world. 
Catholicism is highly important to the people of Napoli. There are hundreds of churches in the city. The Cathedral of Naples is the city's main place of worship. The patron saint of Naples is Saint Januarius. Thousands of Neapolitans flock to witness the dried blood of San Gennaro, which is said to turn to liquid when brought close to holy relics. The main square of Naples is the Piazza del Plebiscito. But Naples has two other main public squares, the Piazza Dante and Piazza dei Martiri. Underneath Naples lies a series of caves and structures created by centuries of mining called Subterranean Naples that visitors have access to visit. Il Bosco di Capodimonte is the city's largest green space in Naples. It's a park and it has its own museum called Museo e Real Bosco di Capodimonte. Parco Villigiano is said to be the burial place of the classical Roman poet and Latin writer Virgil, the guide and teacher of Dante. It is also said to be a secret gem of the city. The city has three main islands off the Bay of Naples, the islands of Procida, Capri and Ischia. They can all be reached from Naples by ferries and are very popular with tourists and celebrities. Naples is noted for its numerous higher education institutes and research centers. The city has what is thought to be the oldest state university in the world, the Università Federico II di Napoli, which was founded in 1224. Naples has its own state-of-the-art astronomical observatory of Capodimonte. Established in 1812, it is one of the leading astronomical observatories in Europe. Sophia Loren was born in Naples. She has an honorary citizenship of Naples due to her massive contribution and impact to film. Noted as one of the greatest female stars of classical Hollywood and Italian cinema, it is also known to be said that she is one of the most beautiful Italian women of all time. Naples is Italy's fourth largest economy after Milan, Rome and Turin. Currently it is the world's 103rd largest urban economy. Naples is a major national and international tourist destination, being one of Italy and Europe's top tourist cities. Tourists begin visiting Naples in the 18th century during the Grand Tour. The Autostrada A1 is the longest motorway in Italy. It links Naples to Milan. The Naples International Airport is located in the suburb of San Pietro a Patierno. It is the largest airport in southern Italy, with around 250 national and international flights arriving or departing daily. The Naples underground metro, named La Metropolitana di Napoli, is noted for its decorative architecture and public art. In the 18th century, Naples went through a period of neoclassicalism. This was due to the discovery of the remarkably intact Roman ruins of Herculaneum and Pompeii. Naples is also known for its theatres, which are amongst the oldest in Europe. The Teatro di San Carlo dates back to the 18th century. Naples is well known for its sweet dishes and desserts. This includes the colourful gelato, which is similar to ice cream. Neapolitan coffee is also widely acclaimed. The traditional Neapolitan coffee pot was the basis for the invention of the espresso machine and also inspired the Neapolitan mocha pot. Naples is the home of one of the first Italian colour films, Totò in Color. It starred Antonio De Cortis, or more commonly known as Totò, a famous comedic actor born in Naples. The nutritional value of the Neapolitan cuisine was discovered by the American doctor Ansel Keys in the 1950s, being later noted as one of the best examples of the Mediterranean diets. The Neapolitan language was protected on the 14th of October 2008 by a regional law by Campania that protects and enhances the Neapolitan language, dialects and the popular traditions. Naples is one of the main centres of Italian literature. King Alfonso V of Aragon stated in 1442 that the Neapolitan language was supposed to be used instead of Latin in official documents. The mass character Polichinella is Naples' puppetry character. Polichinella represents the simple man who tries to face all of his problems with a smile. He is always in contradiction with himself, making fun of the mighty ones and being clever. 
One of Italy's most famous cinema theatre styles is the Sceneggiata Napoletana. It is one of the most important genres of modern folk theatre worldwide. Naples has played an important role in the history of Western European music for more than four centuries. Naples has also created its own unique styles of music, like the Canzone Napoletana, Opera Buffa and Musica Neomelodica. Due to its important contribution to music, Naples has also created its very own instrument, known as the mandolin, the tamora, and the putipu. And that's the complete 50 facts of Naples. It was a lot to take in, so if you want to watch it again, please feel free. As always, leave a like on this video, click on subscribe, and ring the notification bell to make sure you're notified first when our new videos arrive. Thanks for all your support. If there was no support, we couldn't make this great content. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.